Blue Jays hosting the Orioles. The Orioles are plus 116 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 136. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 184, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Blue Jays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 152, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And I just kind of say this is like the, the audacity with how poorly the Blue Jays have been playing that they actually make them the favorite in this game is kind of laughable. But, you know, I got burned the, bat the past couple of nights betting the Blue Jays getting runs, so I might be a little bit sore about that. Suarez did not pitch against the Blue Jays either last year or this year. Berrios pitched once against the Orioles this year, and shockingly, it was a game that the Blue Jays won. Seven innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 3-2, to two, and he struck out four. Now, weather will not be a factor because of the Dome. Head-to-head, -head, the Orioles are on a three-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three against the Blue Jays in their last 10. The road team's won the last two. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won the last three games they've played against each other. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is also 6-4. and four. Granted, the Orioles were winning all of those games as an underdog. The over is hitting their last two. The under is 6-4. and four. The under 8.5 runs is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The Orioles are 4-1 and one in Suarez's five starts. They've won his last two. The under is 3-1-1. One one. Four and two-thirds, four hits, one run, or one earned run. 4.6 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.2 home runs, and 84.4 pitches per game. And 17.7 uh, uh, pitches per inning. For the Blue Jays, they are 2-3 and three in Berrios' last five starts. The under is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. Six and a third innings pitched, 5.6 hits, three runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 1.2 home runs, 92 pitches, and 15 and a half pitches per inning. To me, this is a damned if you do and damned if you don't kind of game because it's how strong is the Blue Jays bullpen going to be. Granted, the Orioles got to the starter, four in the third, three in the fifth, one in the, uh, one in the seventh, and then two in the eighth. So it was kind of spread out a little bit today, but it's uh, challenging to see. Now, the uh, Orioles are eight and two in their last 10, three and one in their last four. 14 runs, seven runs, nine runs, and then there was 11 runs in the game that they played today. 11 runs. Nine runs in a win, three runs in a loss, seven runs in a win, and then 10 runs in a win. For the Blue Jays, Two and two in their last four as well. Nine runs, nine runs, nine runs, and then 11 runs. One run in a loss, five runs in a win, two runs in a loss, and then one run in a loss. Orioles with the money line, Orioles laying the runs, and I'm going to go over, and I don't think it has anything to do with Berrios. I think he might pitch a magnificent game, and then once he comes out, the bullpen is going to do what the bullpen does. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.